Hi everyone, Etta here. I am back. Um, I was in the middle of cleaning up this room because it is a disaster and I had done a video last night for the all the Palo blends that I have and um, I was trying to put that stuff away this morning before work and I still have some time. It's only just after 7 a.m. So I was when I was putting things away, I saw my open clams from dude candle and i thought you know what i did say i wanted to come back and kind of give you a review of how some of the scents did for me i have not finished all of them i i think i bought i think i originally bought 11 or 10 or something like that and one two and i've only done five right not finished i did like i think i did like two cubes from each that i did so i'm gonna go ahead and give you my review of what I thought. And again, I wanna show you, uh, this is the website. It is dudecandle.com and I'm, I've got it on a picture with the wax melts. So dudecandle.com, picture of the wax melts. Um, let's see, oops. And it does like, you know, all the different scents and it, you know, if I click on it, it'll give me the scent description. I'm just going to give you, um, in case you haven't had a chance to go on the website, there's one called Aftershave. And I do know, I believe it's Alexis that loves um, barbershop blends or whatever. So Aftershave. There's Aged Bourbon, which I did. I have Apple Orchard I have not done. Um, there's one called Arctic Mint. And that was one that I thought would be something maybe similar to what we've had before in other blends. Because it has a picture of what looks like, almost looks like a hot chocolate in like the Arctic area with some like snow or whipped cream on it or something. And there's Barbecue, Baseball, Beer Fest, which I did not pick up. Black Leather, I should have picked that one up and I didn't. Um, campfire, Chocolate Fudge, Cigars, oh, this one says new, Cigars and Stories. Okay, I guess it's time for me to go place another order <laughs> because I didn't get the Black Leather. Now there's a new one, Cigars and Stories. There's Cut Grass, Dark Roast, Motor Oil, uh, Movie Night Popcorn, Mold Cider, New Kicks, Off-Road Dirt, Pina Colada, Pipe Tobacco, Pumpkin Pie, Race Fuel, that was the one I was trying to remember last time, Race Fuel, Root Beer, Melissa, I know that you're a huge fan of Root Beer and I know you like Root Beer Float, um, and I'm actually gonna send you a message about that later. Um, then there's Sawdust, Sierra Pine. I know there's people who like pine scents. Uh, Sunrise. And they show a picture of, I, I'm, I don't know, I would almost guess like a tequila sunrise because it's it looks like grapefruits, but it looks like a glass of orange juice. So I'm not sure. Take a hike and whiskey. All right. So I have it up so that I can kind of show you or I can look at what the scent descriptions are. And... Um, my husband originally had told me he wanted to start with take a hike well we did not he decided he changed his mind the next day and he said no let's try new kicks i only used one i put it in the half bath because since it was going to be the initial um trying of something i wanted to do it in a small area so that if it was if i found it too you know very soft i could at least get a sense of the smell right so new kicks um that was the one that i told you was supposed to be kind of like new shoes man talk about a glare on my phone or on the camera um okay so new kicks says um new kicks captures the that glorious fresh scent of a new pair of sneakers you know the feeling you just spent the money for the latest pair of kicks and some people especially oh i remember my kids always wanted like the 150 fifty dollar shoes i was like i'm, I'm not, do not doing that i think we did it maybe once or twice and i was like we did it we're not doing it again um you take the lid off the box and you're hit with that magical scent rubber sole leather accents fresh fabric combined with that slightly synthetic aroma 
maybe that's the scent that I was picking up, the rubber sole and the synthetic aroma. It's all here with dude candle wax melts for far less than a pair of sneakers. This scent is quickly grown to be our number two seller. Wow, okay, it's their number two seller. Let me tell you, one cube, half bath. You know, I usually keep the door closed. By, I'd say five hours or whatever, I had to open the door to the bathroom. It was, one cube was just blowing, <laughs> was blowing me out of the bathroom. Like it, the scent was so strong, uh, which is a great thing great thing but for the little tiny bathroom with the door closed no it didn't work and again the the rubber sole or the synthetic aroma whatever it is i personally am not crazy about that scent my husband he liked it he thought it smelled good um so everybody's a little different so i will say let's see i put it in i want to say i put it in around 11 o'clock in the morning and you know, the bathroom warmer stays on 24 seven. And the next day when I came down to, you know, start getting ready for work or whatever, since I work at home, I, I, I walk into the bathroom and it was still, it wasn't like blow me out of the bathroom kind of scent anymore. So it was, I was back to, I can kind of close the door again. And like I left it, you know, open about that much. and. At that point, whatever that scent was must have been a top note. And it had finally dwindled down to where I was getting more of the mid and bass notes. And then I liked it. So whatever, it's it's in the top notes, whatever it is that I don't like. And I left it in. So let's say it was about 11 o'clock. I'm just going to say it was a Monday. I don't remember what day of the week it was. So let's say it was on a Monday at about 11. I did not take it out until Wednesday. And I I basically took it out because I wanted to put something else in. I could, it wasn't, by that point, it was probably like a two and a half to a three in intensity. Um, so, you know, obviously in a bigger room, it would have, you would have thought it was gone. But in the half bath, it did absolutely wonderful for one cube. Um, the same day I did two cubes of dark roast in the pantry. Now we do know that coffee scents don't tend to last, gosh, that smells so good. Don't tend to last a super long time. At one point I thought it was gone. Like I thought it was no longer uh, performing. And I think it was that almost more like a nose blind to it or something maybe because we had brewed coffee and so oh man I love my coffee somewhere <laughs> I just realized I don't have my coffee um so I think it might have been that that I just kind of confused because later on I happened to go in there and I was like oh okay I, I smell it again it's but it was much lighter at that point and it says good coffee needs no explanation you know so it talks about the coffee it was good it was not as strong as new kicks but i did enjoy it it was just a coffee a nice like like a like a bold coffee right like a strong coffee scent like that's what i get from uh the scent um so it i would say in my pantry it at the very beginning i could smell it in the kitchen and you know after a couple of hours it kind of mellowed out it didn't go away it just mellowed out and it it performed nicely so then we did do the one that larry originally said and that was take a hike and i did one cube of that in the half bath i loved this i loved take a hike um let me see if i can find it in the there it is take a hike almost at the very end and it says, is an outdoor journey through thick green foliage. This outdoorsy dude candle favorite delivers the aroma of moist earthen soil with plants, trees, and grasses, throwing off that powerful natural scent that peaks after a light rain shower. No perfume. Uh, I can read that. Uh, 
Because most of us are probably girls. And talks about no feminine sense. But I don't care. I don't... Um, I'm not just into feminine sense. Y'all know me. I'm, I'm heavy into manly sense. I love this. Love, love, love. It definitely has an outdoors smell. And it's not... Um, it's not a strong tree. It's not a strong dirt. It's not even super strong on grass. Oh, gosh. I think this is the one that on initial scent, I thought I kind of get the scent of like weeds when you pull weeds out of, out of the garden, that kind of scent. But you do, you pick up like the whole overall um, feel. I did it again in the half bath. It, it wasn't like the other one where I had to open the door. But it stayed a very nice, perfect kind of level scent in there. And the, the, I would say especially the grass part of it really kind of, like I opened the door maybe this much, um, kind of traveled out into the hallway and started to go into the dining room a little bit. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Then I did aged bourbon. And I did two cubes, and what I did was I put this in the candle crock on my desk. I, I wanted to see how it was going to do. Loved it. Loved it. It performed really well. Obviously, I, I, don't think, I don't think I've had anything that doesn't perform in the candle crock for me. But um, I was, what was I doing? I was doing some other wax earlier in the day in the sunroom. And I've said before, in the sunroom, that can be an iffy for me. Like, it doesn't always, um, I don't always get great performance because there's so many windows and, you know, temperature changes, especially right now. It's like cold in the morning, hot in the afternoon, that kind of thing. So I, I put it in the candle crock because of that. And let's see, aged bourbon from Dude Candle brings home the refined scent of aged bourbon matured in charred white oak barrels. I can smell the barrel in this, um, and I can smell the bourbon. We've combined the perfect balance of that slight smoky barrel with the unmistakable scent of premium bourbon. Um, yeah, it says lighted, but I think that's for like a candle. Um, wow, this was fantastic. This also... Um, I would have put it in in the morning, like on a work day. I think I put it in in the morning. I know it went for over 24 hours. The, um, I would say on the second day, I didn't really smell the bourbon. And this filled the sunroom. Filled the sunroom. Not only did it fill the sunroom, but you could start to smell it in the dining room. It, I loved it. Um, you definitely smell the bourbon. I could smell the oak barrel. And what I was going to say is like on day two, because it was on my desk and I was working there all day, I could still smell it. Like it wasn't something that was really filling the sunroom anymore, but I could smell it at my desk. And I think because it has oak barrel or whatever, it was coming across to me as kind of almost like a Palo Santo scent, right? Like that woodsy Palo Santo, not deep, rich woodsy that a lot some people don't like about palo santo just almost like this soft creamy palo santo probably from the bourbon after it was kind of you know fading away the second day was like that scent and on the next day so on day three i was like okay it's time to change it i, I really can't smell it anymore unless i put my nose right over the um the candle crock but as I was pouring it out of the candle jar into a container, right, I could smell it. And I was like, dang it, I could still smell it there. I just couldn't smell it necessarily sitting down at my desk anymore. But aged bourbon, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love the bourbon, love the oak barrel. And then the last one I've tried, also did in the candle crock, did two cubes of baseball. Very, very nice. Um, Another one, ooh, you can kind of smell the wood, you smell the grass. Um, let's see, that should be at the top pretty much because I think they're in alphabetical order, which makes sense. And let's see, Baseball by Dude Candle is a tribute to the great American game. Experience the special blend that is both fresh, 
and earthy, I would agree, with its evocative mix of smells. You'll be transported to the ballpark with wisps of fresh grass. Absolutely smell fresh grass. I love the scent of grass. Stand on the field and smell the leather glove. The leather is very background to this. Like, like I know Natalie's not a big leather person. I wouldn't be scared of leather in this one. It's... It's one of those where everything is blended so well. Like on cold sniff, I, I smell more of the grass than anything else. But on warm, everything kind of comes alive. And the leather is is just there as part of the blend. Like it's, you don't think, oh my gosh, I'm smelling leather. No, it's, it's all blended well together. Feel the sun setting and the magic air as it surrounds you. This one-of-a-kind experience will fill you with memories of your first seventh-inning stretch, your favorite team, and countless nostalgic moments when this summer game was and still is your best friend. Oh, that's nice. I like I like uh, what he has to write on here. And um, I'm thinking there's probably a little bit of a, like a wood scent for like the bat. But this was another one that did really well. It filled the sunroom perfectly fine with the two cubes um this one i did need to change on the second day uh, i think the i think once the the grass like everything else was more background and kind of like a blending to make everything kind of come alive to be the baseball scent so that it wouldn't be just grass let's say but i think once the grass kind of faded then it was it wasn't that it wasn't there it was just it was becoming too light for me and especially in the sunroom you know if i had done it maybe in the half bath or something like that or this room which is smaller i probably would have gotten longer from it but not in the sunroom so i did enjoy that i like i said i still have uh one two three i think i have one two three four five i think seven Maybe I bought 12. I don't know. Anyways, um, I really enjoyed. I am thoroughly enjoying. I am, in fact, I'm going to go back, especially now that I know that there's that new one. And I did not get uh, the black leather. I didn't get um, aftershave. I might get the campfire. I'm definitely getting the cigars and stories. I'm, I'm going to see what that one says. Cigars and stories. Keep me company for a minute while I do that. Uh, capture the dis <clears throat> can't even talk. Capture the distinct and unique scent of cigars with Duke Candle's newest scent, Cigars and Stories. This scent is a careful blend, capturing that true, authentic, full tobacco flavor. I do like those. Transport yourself to those special moments with loved ones. Okay, uh, okay. So tobacco, it looks like. Um, like a tobacco scent but i thought there was another one in here that was a tobacco i may go back and get that motor oil i'm still looking forward to doing the off-road dirt i haven't done um i did buy motor oil i haven't tried it yet um pipe tobacco there's one in here called pipe tobacco so ah one of our top sellers cognac cherry vanilla and tobacco leaf okay um it's a, oh, okay. Think library, think Hemingway, think maritime sailors of old, think granddad. It's bold, pensive, and profound. Oh, I love the descriptions. Okay, so anyways, that is the small review that I have on Dude Candle. Don't forget to check them out. I, I still think it's a great uh, Father's Day gift for dad, hubby, son, son-in-law, that you know father-in-law whatever um i think especially those people those of us who love wax melts and our family knows it i think it's a great way to share in that in that love right kind of bring them in a little bit maybe they'll really enjoy some of these scents and and you know they'll talk to you about wax whereas maybe before they were kind of like yeah i'm glad you enjoy that you know <laughs> i you know, I think my husband has participated a little bit more on with some of these scents. So just a thought. I thought you might enjoy that. And I am probably not going to have another video before Easter. So I wanted to say Happy Easter. 
happy resurrection day. Glory to God, our Father in heaven. And I hope that you enjoy the weekend and the gift that we've been given. So until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Happy Easter. Talk to you later. Bye.